Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So yes, today is my Project Use It Up Bath and Body Works Fall Edition. So I do have to say to you guys, this is potentially one of the worst Use It Up updates that I'm going to be doing. Um, I do have to say, I typically like to do these updates every 15-ish days. And I was gone for like six of the 15 days so some stuff I tried to take with me obviously not that it got much use while I was away but this definitely impacted my use so let's just jump into it so I first want to start out with body lotions the two I have in this project the first one is Bali Mango I'm using this up because it is so old and I really want to get out of my collection here is the usage. It was brand new when it started in the project. Here is the first update and here is today. Um, my focus pro product for the next, um, until the next update is going to be this. I'm hoping to just get it completely done um, by the next update or close at least by the end of the month because I don't want to move with this. And I think I can do it if I only use this lotion and not the other one. So crappy for the other lotion but I'd rather just have this one out and keep the other one to move with so that's the status on this one it's really what I focused on um but I didn't take this with me on my trip so it got like six less days of love the other body lotion which barely got any love is the vanilla bean lotion I don't really love this scent, I'll be honest. So the scent notes are fluffy vanilla, white orchid, toasted tonga, and whipped cream. I don't know, I thought this was gonna be like vanilla bean, like the old vanilla bean Noel type of vibe, and this is just not. Um, but anyways, here's the pro progress product markings here. So honestly, not that great of use, but like I said, this isn't really my focus, um, product. This I bought, like it was manufactured in 2020. This one was manufactured in 2012. So it's kind of more of a focus than the vanilla bean. And I don't think I'll have a problem using this one up. So let's get into body lotions. I want to start out with my mini sunset glow. I really have not used this, but I'm throwing it in my purse and it's going to be like my work everywhere out and about hand cream. I'm making it a dedication. It just smells so good. I want to use it up right now. I don't know. My hope is that this will come to Winter SAS and I'll be able to like buy a lot of it. I'll be honest. That is just my hope. Um, so yeah, this hasn't gotten much love, but like I said, putting it in my purse, determined to use it. The probably most used product in this project is the Wild Strawberry Body Cream. This is about halfway done. It's I weighed these body creams, so I kind of knew where they were at. It says it has 4.1 ounces left. So they start with 8 ounces, so it's about halfway. Um, some of that could be like air, but I have it squeezed pretty decent, as you can see. This one I'm not too worried about using during fall because I could use this during winter. I really just like this scent, honestly, all the time. So this one's not like a must finish some of these other body creams are so pink velvet cupcake an absolute love this one says the weight is 7.4 ounces so i've really only used like half an ounce i feel like i've been sparing with this because i love the scent of it so much it's lovely but i need to kick it in gear with this product as well as the marshmallow pumpkin latte. This is also at 7.4 ounces. So I've really only used a half an ounce of this product as well. This one, I really just have no excuse for not using. This is the time I need to use it. So I think, I think honestly, my goal is maybe to just like alternate these every other day for the month of October. I typically only use these in the mornings. I use like this one everywhere at night. So I feel like it gets the most progress. I really only use these two in the mornings, but the crappy part is I've been trying and my goal is to use up the Champagne Apple and Honey Fine Fragrance Mist by the end of the month. I 
definitely want to have this out of my collection. I love it, but I'm, it's the one I have the most progress on, so I really want to kick it out. So if I want to wear this during the day, it obviously makes it harder to use the other two. So I think what I might do, these two pair really well together, so I might just make this my nighttime fragrance. Not that it is a nighttime fragrance whatsoever. It's really like a champagne or an apple honey with a like effervescent champagne -y note. So it's really not a nighttime scent. But if I want to get use out of everything, I think it's what I'm going to have to do. So you guys told me I could use like an alcohol swab or like isopropyl alcohol on a cotton ball and remove Sharpie markings from these plastic bottles. So I actually marked these. I've been marking them on the bottom and I hope you can tell. I also got myself marking. So here, this is where I was last update and then this is where I'm at today. Um, I'm marking them this way on the bottom because you can't see through these bottles at all and also it hides it a little bit better. So yeah, I think I made really good progress. Um, could I finish this by the end of the month? I mean, I think there's a good chance. It's definitely going to be my goal. Uh, worst case, this might be my use at night and then also throw on my bag and use it throughout the day type of scent just because I really, really want to get this done. I think it'll be so rewarding to have this out of my collection. Moving on to the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Fine Fragrance Mist. I'm so glad I got a mini in this because look at this usage. This is just today, but it's like right at the top. Can you see that? Oh, what horrible progress. So obviously if I start using more of this, it will help here. So that's going to be my focus, but I'm so glad I only have a mini in this. Um, it's nice, but like I said, I can only really use it in the fall. I just, I'm done with it after fall. I just like really don't want to smell it anymore. So I do have the full size in pink velvet cupcake because this is my fave so I actually marked this for the first time as well this one's gonna be kind of hard to see it's like right here from the top so I don't know it's not too bad it's maybe like getting to a fourth of the way obviously this is tapered you know coming down so I don't know I feel like it's pretty good progress this as well it'll help obviously if I use the body cream so I don't know, I think it'll move along. Now that I'm back home and I probably will be here until the end of the month till our move. So I'm not really worried about, you know, like going out of town again. So I can really focus in on these products. So I think we're gonna move to shower items. So I wanna start off with my Sunset Glow Body Scrub. I weighed this and it still is like eight ounces, like it's full. So this is obviously something I'm going to be focusing on. If I don't use this up during the fall, it's not the end of the world, but I really am kind of curious just to see how long this takes me to use up. But honestly, I don't even know that I have much progress on it. I'm not like a huge crazy scrub person. I really just scrub before I shave. Also not that I shave every day either, so I don't know. but. Hopefully by the next update, we'll see at least a change in the weight and hopefully that will tell us more. Other shower products. So I have my mini a thousand wishes shower gel. So this is kind of going to be also another focus product for me because I want to get this done before I move as well. Also, I think this is just an easy one. If I end up do like going out of town, going to my parents' house, whatever, I can easily take this one with me as opposed to a bigger shower gel. So that's why this is my focus. Also, I'm almost like to the halfway point of being done with this. So I think this will be really easy to get done by the end of the month. Absolutely love the scent on this. I have another one. Absolutely love using it. Um, I wish that this made red bubbles like when it suds up, but it's white. I don't know. That's so random, but it's just something that's been on my mind. <laughs> so I also have the Almond Blossom Shower Gel in here. I didn't do as great on this one, but like I said, I was focusing on the other one. This has been lovely in my bubble bath. The smell of this is so good. It says sweet almond oil blended with vanilla orchid and cashmere musk. 
this is just so heavenly i absolutely love it mostly in the shower i don't know that i want it in other body care but i love it in the shower gel so this one probably won't get as much love because my focus is going to be this but if i do any baths i'll be sure to use this because i love it there um i might just sneak it in a couple times too if i get tired of the other one so maybe a little bit of progress by the next update but really main focus is the other one okay the two hand soaps that I was working on, um, these don't have that great of progress and I'm going to tell you why. Obviously you guys know how many times can I say it? I was gone for six days out of this duration. Besides that, um, Corey, some of you may know my boyfriend from my channel here. He got the wild idea. Um, he really really likes one of these scents and i was like great we're gonna go through it this is awesome you really like it wonderful he got the bright idea that bath and body work soaps are too expensive and that he's gonna limit his usage of them because he thinks they're expensive and i'm like i don't know how to tell you this but they're in my project use it up and we need to use these i just don't know how to like I don't know that you're a project planner, so maybe you don't understand, but so it's been like pulling teeth to try and get him to use these soaps. So essentially I've been the only one using these soaps because he's been using, um, just like our dish soap that we have, which is fine because we could use that up as well. But like we have 10 hand soaps and we only have one dish soap. Like, could you just focus on the things we're trying to use up? So this is so like very, very sad progress. But until I can convince him to continue to using the Bath & Body Works soap, I don't know if it's going to get any better. So, what is this called? Coconut Pumpkin Latte. Love this. Love the bottle style on this. Um, I thought I was going to finish this <laughs> by this update. Yeah, here's where we're at. So, not a ton of progress. Maybe now that I'm going to be home and we have like a holiday and I have a few days off in the month of October, so I will be at home more. Maybe that will help this out. This is at our kitchen sink where the dish soap is that Corey is using. So, guaranteed this has all been my usage. Guaranteed he has not even touched this, but I this is so dumb, but I really don't want to make markings on this ribbed part. So like, I just want to finish this up. Um, this has been ma my main focus because I'm like, I know it's already half gone. If I can get this done by the end of the month, I don't have to move with a half gone soap. Um, probably a weird mentality, but like, I would prefer to just get this one done, especially since I'm the only one using it. Um, the other one is Sunlight and Apple Trees. This is Corey's baby. He says he loves this one and he wishes we could get more, but I don't think this is available right now. So I think he has been using this one actually. Here is the progress though. I was hoping we would be like more like halfway, but again, I think I'm majority the person using this. This is in the bathroom, so I think it kind of forces him to use it because it's the only soap out, but still not great progress. So um, yeah, we'll see if anything changes over the next 15 days if I somehow convince Corey that it is okay to use Bath & Body Works soap. I'm gonna continue buying them regardless, so, like, he can just use them. I don't know why I'm telling you guys. I really should be telling him, but he doesn't want to hear it, so. <laughs> okay, lastly, I'm gonna update you on the candles I've been working on. Um, the one I don't have in here that I want to touch on quick is the Vanilla pumpkin marshmallow that one is from 2018 I did chop it up into wax melts and then what I actually ended up doing and what I'm doing this weekend is I just put it on a hot plate warmer and I'm just gonna let it warm until it has no scent left like it's really on its last leg and so I'm just like why am I beating around the bush and holding on to this I can go out and buy a new one if I really want to so I'm just gonna melt it until the fragrance is gone and then that one will be done so it should be done like either by the end of today or the end of tomorrow so for sure by the next update it will be done update on Honeycrisp Apple. I'm not quite halfway with this one yet. Um, solid burn. I don't know. It's going okay. I'm not loving the scent as much as I thought I would. I like it, but I think it's just the wrong time of year. I think this is more August and it's October 4th, 5th, 6th, whatever the day is. Um, so I don't know. I'm just kind of over it, but I don't want to hold on to it. I hope to have this one done by the end of the month. 
also salted caramel. I'm about halfway on this one, which is lovely. Also not really a fan of this scent either. It's straight up caramel every time. Every time it gets me. Honestly, I just noticed this. The first note's roasted chestnuts. I feel like for the first time my nose that I'm smelling this, my nose is picking up the roasted chestnuts. Anyway, interesting. Um, this is almost gone. Hope to have this also done by the end of the month. These are the two that I'm just like, light them and let them burn for as long as possible because we're trying to get through them. You know, besides my other baby candles like Cider Lane, my loves. Um, this one is just like carameled apple with a little bit of fall spices. It's lovely. I just barely started burning this. Um, yeah, like I said, only a couple burns. This one I'm not too worried about because I'll happily move with this one and this one is very lovely for fall. These two are more of my focuses that I really want to get out of my collection. So that is the update for today. Like I said, hopefully within the next 15 days, we're in a little bit of a better spot. Um, I think the next update will be the halfway point, um, which is like, insane to think we're already almost halfway through fall. I mean, it's only at the beginning of October, but once it's the end of November, I mean, it's essentially winter. Maybe that's just my opinion, but yeah, I think the next update is the halfway point in this project. So I really need to kick it in gear because I have still 30 products in this project. Um, which is no good. So <laughs> wish me luck. I will be back in 15 days with an update. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys are using up down below. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.